I am off to see and work with Mr. Johnny Thurkle today. Apart from being an incredible trumpet player, he reached out to me in 2015 and said, look, I love the band, I would love to play on anything, no charge, which obviously the bit um, that got me excited. Um, but he has just been the most kind man in terms of saying, I'm into the band, would love to come and play on a record. Johnny has worked with... The list is ridiculous, but he's played on 35, I think, number one albums and I think has the longest running uh, stint of always being in the top 40 for 13 years in a row, which is just ridiculous. But top it all, he's an absolute gem of a bloke. So, yeah, we're going to go and do a track. I've got a bit of an idea, and um, let's see what we come up with. You all going in there? <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I left school, I went down the pit. Right. Um, and again, it was another way of getting out of something, right? Yeah. Uh, I thought, ah, this is not, I'm not doing this for the rest of my life. Yeah. Um, and I had a, a lad who was, again, another lad trombone player who went to Leeds College of Music. I mean, he's telling me all this amazing stuff, right? Doing right. this band and I play this and I yeah. do that. And he's like playing the, playing the, the trombone all day, all, all week. I thought, well, that's, yeah, that's for me, that is. So I had to get, so, I had to get myself another A level, but then I went to Leeds. It was just, just amazing. And that's just such a brilliant, I mean, I didn't, I didn't finish the course as it happens, but. Yeah. but uh, uh, did you not finish the course because you got a gig? Because I got a gig, right. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A guy came up, I got introduced to a guy in a pub. The guy's name was Mike Potts, a real hell of a nice lad, he lives in Luton. And uh, I was chatting to him and he said, I said, what are you, what are you up to then? He said, I, I'm, I'm on the QE to play on a band on the QE too, and we just got a few days off. You know? He said, oh, it's okay, but you know, I've had enough of it now. I said, I want, to, I want to get off. I can't find anybody to take over from me, you know what I mean? I'll do it. Yeah. Really? Of course I will. He said, what about college? Whatever. Yeah. So he said, when can you start? So when do you want me to start? He said, can you start on Tuesday? Yeah, fine. So I went home, packed my stuff, and drove down to Southampton, and that was it. On the QE2. I'm on the QE2. All right. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, like two and, and a half years later, earlier, I'd been down the pit, you know. So that's how, how I got into Buddy's band, was, was Buddy had fired... They were on tour here. Buddy had fired a trumpet player. <laughs> Um, and I happened to be working with Gil Evans at the time right. at Ronnie's, and a couple right. and the other a couple of the other trumpet players came along. Uh, but I, but uh, yeah, so between that lot, you know, between the two guys coming to see Gil and, and Jay, uh, was he pleasant to work for no. or no? <laughs> and look, I wasn't in the band. I was in the band for two months or something. Like that. It was not a long yeah. time. But but I see, you know. I see sort of longing, loving messages from guys who are in the band, and I, the way they describe it is not how I remember it. No, but, but it, that's funny how nostalgia can. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, time can, softens can, can the blows that, yeah. somewhat. Yeah. Look, he was never, he was never directly uh, aggressive to, to me. No, <laughs> no. no. And there are a number of bands that I've had fairly lengthy associations yeah. with, you know, Level 42 and, and, yep. and Jamiroquan, yep. and, and, and I enjoyed them, loved them yeah. all. If I was pushed to choose one thing in particular, uh, I, I, my time with Swing Out Sister was just the best. I absolutely... Yeah. I love the music. They are the n loveliest, most sweet, most delightful, decent, yep. good people you yep. could put... And it, you, it was like laughing from morning till night. I've always been a great planner. I've always been a believer in plans. 
having a plan. I still make five-year plans to this day. If you know where you're going, it's much easier to get... Too many musicians, I think, just drift through life, right? They, they, they sort of, OK, here I am. Mm. Where's all the work, right? Mm. And it's, it's, as, you, as you know yourself, Steve, it doesn't work like that. What is the dream for you, right? Mm. What is the, would be the best outcome totally? Yep. And then work backwards, just work backwards from that. Because I, I think that... Is that what you did in that capacity? Pretty much, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I wanted to be a studio player. That's what I wanted to do yeah. with all of my heart. So that involved, you've got to get your chops together, as in you've got to be good. Sure, yeah. yeah. And, you, and you, you're very disciplined, right? I see you practice. Uh, yes, I never yeah. miss a day. Yeah. For, I yeah. never, ever miss a yeah. day of practicing. <laughs> But it's not luck that you've on 36 number one albums. No, probably not, probably not. But it's not playing. It's not, it's not being the greatest trumpet player in no. the world either. I think you need to identify what people are, what do they need, what do they want, how do I give yeah. it to them. It's not about what you want, it's about what they want. Yeah. It's about caring. I think you've got to... I think... It always used to amaze me, and string players... Sorry, any string players that are listening to any of this, but... I would go on a se- I'd be on a session, we sit there, and it's in the middle of the session, we take a little break, or they're listening back to something, and they'd be sitting writing out their invoice, and I think, for Christ's sake, at least finish the job, you know, before you start. And I, I just think there... That's a bit of a union... Uh... <laughs> yeah. There's lots of people that play the trumpet, and there's lots of people that play the sax, there's lots of people that play the sure, bass, there's lots sure. of people that play the guitar. Of course, of course. And, you know, why are some getting more than... And, and of course... Yeah. Talent is 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 and hard work. Uh, look, I think but there's some there's something <clears throat> there's some other personality thing. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. That's but not Steve, you and I have both done been involved in production, mm. making mm. Uh, records mm. for, for ourselves, mm. right? And you know yourself. You put your you put money. You put your heart. You put your soul. You put all of your energy. You put everything into this into this record. You know, this this recording mm. that you're making. To see somebody sitting there writing out their invoice or reading the paper in the middle of the thing, that's just insulting to me. And I, I, I think when I go to work, yeah. uh, for my own personal yeah. pride, if it's got my name on it, then I want it to be the best it can possibly be. <laughs> We spoke about my, our dogs, they're schnauzers. Yeah. I'd never seen a miniature schnauzer in my life until we got one, yeah. right? And then I see them all over the place. Yeah. And that's, they're, they're, I'm sure there's some sort of scientific or, or psychological... Yeah. Once you suddenly start to see the pattern, you... you you're, that's, you're, you're, yeah. And so if you, once you know where you're headed for, then yeah. you will spot the opportunities, yeah. right? Opportunities that, that would have just sailed by you in the past. And I think that's the power of... Of making a plan. Making a goal. Yeah, don't, don't be a dick. That's also a Well, good. I was just going to say, <laughs> not quite like that, but, don't be, but like I was going to say, how do you lose a gig? And, well, actually, don't be a dick. Yeah. Uh, and, but, but, again, it's like serving the greater good, right? In the sense of, like, when you're on, 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 on the bus or you're... You can't be the, 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 the party dude all the time when everyone doesn't want to party. But yeah. sometimes you might need to party. Of course. Because that's, uh, that's what everyone's that doing. And it's knowing how you fit into that. And that's a skill. That, that's a skill that, that, in itself, yeah. Steve, isn't yeah. it, right? you reading the room, mm. right? Re- mm. You know, so you go into some situations and it's kind of mayhem and, yeah. and, and you've got to fit into that as best yeah. you can. Others, it's much more sedate and, and you read the room and just fit in with people. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting, really getting into my these music camps that I do uh-huh. uh, with Paul and Rob, and, and I do a horn camp with, with Snake Davis, and, and mm-hmm. uh, I really like that. A thing that suits me now, mm-hmm. writing a book, I'm going to get that finished. I mean, I really enjoy writing. You know, I, I feel it makes you... I feel a little bit sort of pompous with the idea that anybody would... Well, I think that, like, you know, like a lot of um, artists... I mean, and I thought about this when you, we had a bit of back and forth with the recording of this track. We have the slight imposter syndrome. I'm we, have huge. This, we have this <laughs> nagging voice. Yeah. You know, you're playing all this stuff to me. I'm like, sounds fucking great. I fucking love it. And you're like, oh, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Is it good? 
And, uh, and that's because you've heard your licks in your head. Yeah. A million times from, I guess from so, conception yeah. Of, yeah. Of, 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 of picking the <clears throat> instrument up. I'm just very happy you so said licks in the plural. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love your licks. <laughs> and uh, no, and so I think that there's, I'm saying that, 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 that as they call it, the poisoned parrot. Yes. Um, yeah. On our shoulders. No, no one's <clears throat> interested in your story. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, you know, they probably are. And, you know, the reason why I'm filming this and getting people stories is because there's lots of people. That, that, that are, are interested and, and want to play. And also there's young musicians that, that, that want to know what it's like being on the road. They want to know how to get a, a yeah, start. And, and, I guess and, so. Yeah. I, I guess so. Yeah. But, but you know what I mean, right? You know, when you're in the thick of it, you think... Yeah, but that means you're a, nice, you're a nice guy. If you were like, <laughs> no, everyone wants to hear what you'd be a cop. <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, yeah. again, I'll take, I will take that, uh, yeah. uh, for sure. <laughs> All right, let's uh, wrap up. Thank you very much. And um, that's been a joy. We're going to go and uh, go to the studio. Yeah. <laughs>